When the Congress has called a meeting of all its Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha MPs at the Congress Parliamentary Party office today morning at 9.45 a.m. to discuss the future strategy of the party. Right, uh, Gargi, the decision to hold a meeting was taken soon after the ED temporarily sealed the premises of Young Indian in the Congress-owned National Herald office in Delhi as part of an ongoing money laundering investigation. Sources in the Enforcement Directorate said that the office of the Young Indian were temporarily sealed and there was no one from their side in whose presence the searches could be conducted. Moreover, additional police personnel were deployed yesterday outside the Congress headquarters at 24 Akpar Road and residents of Interim Party President Sonia Gandhi. Uh, this, they said, was to prevent any protests from breaking out over there. Uh, here are some of the statements made yesterday, including Rahul Gandhi's. BJP wants to do is BJP wants that nothing in India should be made by small and medium businesses. They want that everything should be made by two or three of their favorite big business people. That is why they change these rules. Uh, their, their entire idea is to take the money out of these people's pocket, right, and put it into rich businessmen's pocket. Thank you very much. We are seeing an open-ended investigation for events 10 years ago with a siege mentality in the heart of the capital, the only sole object of this exercise is humiliation, insult and intimidation at one level. I mean, you are treating this institution, this party, these leaders as terrorists. Every time a question has been asked that why did the Congress party give in, uh, money on uh, loan to AGL, the Congress party is not a bank. Under the Representation of People's Act, it is ultimately a political party that is getting donations for political work, not to give a loan. Thereafter, the entire thing is transaction is transferred to young Indians owned by the Nehru Gandhi family. So all the Congress party leadership had to do, that is Mrs. Gandhi and Mr. Rahul Gandhi, is give a straight answer to the questions. Instead, for 10 years, all we have heard is that this is political vendor, vendetta, this is an agenda against us, we will do a satyagraha. Well, let's go across to Arvind now for more. And Arvind, the Congress uh, to meet this morning all the MPs from the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha to uh, you know, strategize on how to counter this. Also, they hit out over the raids yesterday and the sealing of the office, uh, the sealing actually, not the raids, and uh, the fact that the police was deployed outside the Congress headquarters and Sonia Gandhi's residence. Yeah, you know, the Congress party has called for a meeting of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha MPs. So the meeting will take place at around 10 a.m. in the parliament complex, wherein it is likely to be chaired by Congress President Sonia Gandhi. So both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha MPs have been called for the meeting. So what we are being told is in this meeting, they will be strategizing the plan uh, of protest for this particular uh, alleged misuse of central agency because that's how the Congress party is calling it. So even in Lok Sabha yesterday, the Congress party was protesting in Lok Sabha against the alleged misuse of central agency. So what we are being told is that after today's meeting, the Congress party will be raising the issue in both the houses of parliament in both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Uh, and also tomorrow, the Congress party has planned this mega massive protest across the country over the issues of price rise, unemployment, and also fuel prices. So as, uh, as per their earlier plan, they were supposed to march towards uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan. That's all the MPs were supposed to march towards Rashtrapati Bhavan and all the other senior leaders were supposed to march towards Prime Minister's residence. But the Delhi police has denied them the permission and the Congress party has decided that despite the permission being denied by the Delhi police, they will still continue with their protest. So in today's meeting, we will get to know what would be the strategy for today, whether the Congress party will be raising this issue inside both the houses or whether they will be protesting outside the houses.